10 is 605. We're here with Jerry Noctegall of City um, at the grand opening of the Huther Family Match Point. What a beautiful facility this is. It's a really exciting day, Carol, and uh, thanks for coming out. And a uh, really neat treat for the city of Sioux Falls in this area to have James Blake uh, here. It is. I got to watch him and several of the Batch Point team members out there playing with uh, four, five, and six-year-olds. What a, what a treat that was this morning. Yeah, you know, it's so neat to see the little kids playing. And really, what me personally and professionally and as a Sioux Falls resident, what makes me happy is the fact that, you know, we live in an area that's frozen a good part of the year. That's so true. when fall comes, the Tennessee's outdoor tennis season is over. We have suffered from a lack of indoor recreation facilities. We've addressed ice. We have a beautiful facility now. We have the Pentagon. We have a gorgeous event center. Uh, we're addressing swimming very soon. And now we have a gleaming, beautiful six-court indoor tennis facility that those little kids are going to be able to play on year-round until... They're 90 years old. Well, and you, and you know, Randy and I were out here earlier this week um, visiting with Jesse Dawes, doing an uh, interview with Jesse, and I happened to see a couple guys that I think were probably in their 70s that were out there playing pretty competitively. And that's the nice thing about tennis or golf. They're lifetime sports. Uh, I don't play tennis. Everybody in my house except me and the dog plays tennis, but, okay. that, but that's great. It's an outstanding lifetime sport. And as I mentioned, we, we have weather challenges here. Uh, it's Sioux Falls and South Dakota and this region is a great place to live. We all need to move more and get more exercise, and now we can do it year-round indoor uh, in a tennis facility. Well, and, you know, it, Sioux Falls is, is starting to become a youth sports mecca with all these facilities. And that was really attractive to Citibank and also me personally as, as I kind of got involved with the project is, and I can tell you, Carol, that uh, I, we have three kids and all of them have participated in travel sports. Parents, not just Sioux Falls, uh, across the country do uh, go to great lengths f uh, for their kids on, on athletic and drama and uh, theater, whatever, and, and travel to other cities. Why not build that beautiful, clean industry of youth sports in Sioux Falls, expand it? We have it here with soccer. We have it now with the Pentagon next door with uh, basketball and volleyball. Let's, let's become an even bigger youth sports mecca, and tennis can play right into that, absolutely. It definitely can. Now... You mentioned that that was part of why Citibank was getting involved, but how did you come to be involved with the, the building of this facility? Well, uh, Bill Townsend and Cindy Huther approached me, it's probably three years ago now, and uh, they, they knew that I have uh, sit on the Cha Sioux Falls Area Chamber of Commerce's Community Appeals Committee, which evaluates nonprofits that uh, really would like the blessing from the uh, and seal of approval from the chamber so they can go out to uh, businesses and raise money. Uh, okay. for, uh, to address a need in the community. So they asked if I would be a co-chair of the drive, and, and honestly, I was a little reluctant because, as I say, everybody in my family plays tennis. I don't, and I don't know the game real well, but I do know uh, Sioux Falls. Bottom line, I signed on because uh, it's good for Sioux Falls, and it's good for the, the whole area, and really South Dakota and borderline into Iowa and Minnesota and that. And um, I just saw it as a, uh, we were lacking in something. We were lacking in indoor uh, tennis facilities in Sioux Falls. For a city of our size, we should have far more co indoor courts uh, than we did then. We were limited at five. Uh, and again, a, a great outdoor program, great recreation program through the city of Sioux Falls. They do outstanding work. But, you know, October comes and, and that season shuts down. So it, it's just, uh, it, uh, that's why I signed on. Well, and this facility is not only going to mean a lot to the traveling tennis programs, but to high school, college, the whole whole gamut. You know, I'm I'm biased. I'm a South Coast State grad. I'm a big South Coast State booster. They played their first home match in uh, I think seven years recently in Brookings. And why is that? They don't have indoor facilities. There's not enough indoor facilities in Sioux Falls for them to play here. They played outdoors, and luckily they had a nice day for it. Uh, love the idea of college teams, whether it's SDSU, USD, University of Sioux Falls, Augustana. Uh, St. Cloud State was here playing Hastings Colleges, uh, Hastings College, uh, just a couple weeks back. Really exciting at the aspect of bringing in uh, college-level tennis to right here. And, and what a great benefit for the younger players. Uh, really nice for you know. I, I could only imagine playing at SDSU. You're on the road constantly, um, and and that 
pertains to other schools as well. We just haven't had enough indoor facilities, uh, indoor courts for tennis uh, to host a lot of things. But, you know, we're, we're there now, and we can do it, and I think this, this program's only going to grow. Yeah, and this facility is a game changer. It is. For, for uh, tennis, certainly. It's exciting to have the ice facility right next door. Uh, if you look at the master plan for this area, what Sanford has in mind, uh, retail, restaurants, possibly more sporting events. And if you uh, really cross the interstate here, I-29, and see what's coming in, in this part of town, an industrial park, a very neat, modern, uh, technologi technologi technology driven uh, uh, industrial park is coming. There's more housing coming this way. Wow. To a lot of people, it, it kind of feels like, oh gosh, it's a long ways out there. Well. Uh, McKinnon Park was way out on the <laughs> outskirts of Sioux Falls once upon a time. So this town is uh, going great guns, growing fast. And growing the right way. And growing the right way. And, and you know, this is such a great place to live. And uh, this is a quality of life uh, uh, endeavor. Well, I can see um, with Jesse Dawes at the helm here, some beautiful um, top shelf camps tennis yeah. camps being held here. Absolutely, and, and for people of all ages, and I might break down and take a tennis lesson at the age of 55, almost 56, but uh, really uh, the opportunities for, for people of all age to uh, either learn or progress in what's a lifetime sport uh, is really exciting and, and really a, a reason I guess I got involved in my well, company. And uh, maybe we're going to have to pressure them to have just a 55 an older league, and we'll see how it goes. Well, I think they have that, and I, I know, as you mentioned, there, there, there's been some old timers uh, out here playing already, and uh, it, it keeps you young, and it keeps you moving, and uh, helps that old ticker, and it's, it's just a great sport. All right, well, game on? Uh, yes, I can't <laughs> wait to watch James Blake uh, in his exhibition today, and the kids and adults are going to get a chance to interact with him and uh, the Sioux Falls and area community. You know, we have folks that came down from Millbank, oh, wow. uh, youth uh, teams and, and parents and that to, to watch, so it's, it's really an exciting day. And he's more than just a, a tennis star. He has a comeback story that's just amazing. His, his personal story is, is phenomenal of the adversity that he's overcome uh, health-wise. Uh, his, his father died at a young age of, of cancer. What he has done with his career, uh, not only in tennis, but on the, the personal side, raising money for cancer research, uh, starting a foundation in his dad's memory, and also helping the uh, United States Tennis Association. He's their foundation's uh, chairman, so he's a great ambassador for the sport of tennis. So we're, it's just really neat to have him. It is an honor, isn't it? It's, it's exciting, really. All right. Well, thank you for so much for taking time with us at Tennis 605 and for all the work you've done to make this facility possible for the kids and for the love of the game. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today.